Hello, Alpha 40 fans. This is the blue-white control deck that we ran in the month of March. Happy to report that it made it to the top eight of the monthly tournament. In the monthly round, we uh, we only got in one match. We lost to a Twiddle Vault deck that was also blue-white, kind of like a mirror match. Uh, they did not have any creatures in that deck. Um, it, they were running Stasis. It was just kind of a really tough matchup. The Swords to Plowshares did not help us since they didn't have any creatures, um, and so we lost in two games. And then since it was the only game that we had played in that pod, we somehow both of us advanced to the top 16. And so in the top 16, I met up with a red-white Orcish Artillery Black Vice deck um, that this deck matches up very well against. I sort of designed this deck to beat red-white Artillery decks, so it did just that in three games. I won that match against the Artillery Vice. Uh, the Swords to Plowshares take out the Artilleries very well, and the Disenchants take out the Black Vices very easily. Um, and then, so in the top eight, I was faced up against a Red-Blue Aggressive, also a Black Vice deck that was also running no creatures, so it had Psionic Blast and Lightning Bolts, uh, and they seemed to get me in three games. It was close, but, it, but that deck had the advantage and the Swords of Plowshares also did not help me. They had Black Vices, and so I was taking damage from Black Vice and then taking direct damage from Psionic Blast and Lightning Bolt. So I have some ideas that'll make this deck slightly better for the month of April, and then I'll report back in May with the results of this month deck. Um, I'd like to bring back the Black Vices. It was the first month, last month in March, that I had not played Black Vices in over a year and I missed them. They were great cards. Everyone else is playing them, so I think I'll join them. Um, and then I'll alter the counter package a little bit. I'll change out the draw spell. I'm gonna take out the, the JM Day Tome. I'm gonna put in some creatures. I'm gonna put in Sarah Angel, Jade Statue, and Juggernaut, just because if I need to use a Swords of Plowshare, I could use it on my own creatures, and I wanna have a few options to target them. Um, I'll put the copy artifact back in because that can copy the Juggernaut or the Jade Statue for two mana. And then by the end of the swaps, I'll have more white cards than blue cards. So I'll put the Ivory Cup back in instead of the Crystal Rod. And then I'll swap out one of the lands, the islands, with the basic planes. So to quick recap, I was running six islands, four planes, three Psychic Venom, and a Time Twister. Some dual lands to splash black and green for the Demonic Tutor and the Regrowth. I was playing Tropical Island, Tundra, Savannah, Scrubland, Underground Sea, and Bayou. And then I had some counter spells. I had a Drain Power, which takes their mana and puts it into your pool, which I was using to cast. It's a little uh, glare today, but I was using the Drain Power to cast cards like Icy Manipulator down there or... Um, make them discard a card with Disrupting Scepter or draw a card with the JM Day Tome. But when they had the Black Vices, I did not really want to draw many cards with the JM Day Tome. So I think I'll swap, swap that out this month. Uh, mana Short, which drains their mana pool and empties it. And then two Power Sinks, which taps their mana. Works well with Cyan, uh, the Psychic Venoms. Um, I like the balance over the Chaos Orb, so I'm going to keep the balance in and try to just keep my creature count low so I don't have to remove any of my creatures. Um, I was also planning on maybe casting Balance to wipe out the board right before I cast a Sarah Angel. Uh, and then again, keep the Swords of Polishers in in case they have creatures. If they don't have creatures, worst case scenario, I could Swords of Plowshare my Sarah Angel before they Swords it. Um, Demonic Tutor, Regrowth to Tutor for Time Twister, and then Regrow Time Twister. And then I'll, uh, I had a Crystal Rod for the blue spells to gain life. The Soul Ring, Disrupting Scepter to make them discard cards. Three Icy Manipulators to tap their lands that had Psychic Venom on them. A Jam Day Tome to draw cards, and then three Disenchants to get rid of their Black Vices. So this month, this is the month of April. I'm going to put in three Black Vices and take out three Psychic Venoms. And then Black Vice, I just think it's good. It's easy to get rid of no matter what color mana you start with. You can cast one of these. 
on your first turn, you can also use it to get cards out of your hand. If they're running Black Vice, you can get under their Black Vices faster by getting cards out of your hand. So we'll take out Psychic Venom, putting in the three Black Vices. So it'll, it'll again, it'll be a Twister Vice deck once again. Uh, we're gonna take out one of these Power Sinks just because um, it was good to tap their mana when they had Psychic Venoms on them. But uh, <clears throat> if you want to just counterspell a spell of theirs, um, counterspell lets you do it with two mana and as opposed to making you tap out all of their mana to tap them out. So basically I have three or four counterspells, however you want to count them as spells. Um, Mana short, power sink, and counter spell all do the same thing. Stop the spell from being cast. Uh, drain power does the same thing, but puts the mana in your mana pool on your turn. Uh, we'll keep balance, the swords, demonic tutor, regrowth, and the distant chance. Uh, we're gonna swap out the draw spell, take out JM Day Tome, which costs four mana. We'll put in Brain Geyser, which is also a finisher. So if you time twister, refill their hand with seven cards, have some black vices on the board, and then are able to tap two blue and X colorless. You can brain geyser them for X. Let's say you make them draw four cards. So now they have 11 cards and they're taking black vice damage with 11 cards in their hand. And it's pretty, pretty lethal. Um, since we're not running the Psychic Venom, I'm gonna take out the Icy Manipulators. We're gonna put in some creatures to kind of give us some synergy with the Swords to Plowshares in case we need to use the Swords to Plowshare. We would uh, do it on our Sarah Angel, take the Sarah Angel out of the game, and we would gain four life. Um, I'll take out the other two Icy Manipulators. Since we're not running the Psychic Venoms, I'll put in a Jade Statue, which is not a creature. So it avoids the balance, which means I could have this on the board when I balance and it does not die. Um, and I'll put in a Juggernaut just for threat diversity. Similar to the Counterspell and Power Sync, I wanna have a couple different options and keep the opponents confused and have them trying to guess how many Jade Statues I'm running, how many Juggernauts I'm running. Um, but if you're watching this video, the answer is just one of each. And then I will take out Disrupting Scepter which uh, was good, but I'm gonna put in a copy artifact, which costs one less mana. And I can also copy this Jade statue or the Juggernaut for just two mana. Keep the Soul Ring in there, the best mana rock in Alpha. And then last, I will switch out this Crystal Rod, Lucky Charm, put in Ivory Cup, because I have more white spells now, I have seven blue spells and eight white spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the advantage is to the white colors. And I'll also, I will equalize the mana base by taking out one of these islands and putting in one basic planes. So now I have five basic islands, five basic planes, and the six dual lands, which is 16 mana sources into 40 cards, which is 40% of the deck. And roughly 50%, uh, roughly 50% white cards, 50% uh, blue cards in the mix. Uh, probably 20% blue, 20% white, and another 20% artifacts. If I have seven artifacts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so that's the deck for April. Uh, give this video a like if you like Alpha 40 or rounded cornered collectible trading cards that were printed in 1993. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all of my Alpha 40 content. I have several videos and matches recorded. Check those out. I encourage you to do that. Leave a comment below if you like this deck and let me know how you think it's going to do for April. And then I'll report back in May and let you know how it did. Thanks, everyone.